So you wanna be a project manager? Mm, let me just let you know, it takes quite some time. I mean, it's a very long and strenuous process. Just kidding, it actually doesn't take long at all. You could become a project manager in a few months. But um, either way, have no fear, cause that's what we teach here. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Veronica. I am a PMP certified project manager. And today I'm gonna tell you five easy steps to transition into project management. So let's get started. So let's talk about project management and how you can transition into becoming a project manager from any industry, any field, any current career that you're in. Five easy steps. So let's start with step one. Do your research. You need to decide whether or not this is really something that you want. You don't just wake up one day and say, hey, I think I want to be a project manager. Maybe you do. Maybe it's divine intervention. I guess it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, you need to do your research. You need to find out more about the field, more about the different types of project management because there's so many different types of project managers. They're not all in tech. A lot of them are non-technical roles. There's project managers in every industry. You could be a project manager and be an engineer. You could be a construction project manager. You can be a healthcare project manager. There's so many different options. So make sure that you do your research so that you can understand in a lot more detail what all is involved in being the specific type of project manager that you aim to be because it really is a wide net okay when we talk about project management so do your research look at what that role entails and be sure that that is what you want before you dive in head first so that's step number one make sure that this is what you want and that you are fully aware of what you are getting yourself into before you jump in to becoming a project manager. Step number two, get certified. When it comes to project management, nobody is looking for someone with a project management degree. I see so many people making this mistake of going to some huge big university and wasting 40, 50, $60,000 on a four year project management degree. <sighs> Why? This isn't necessary. I know it's something that a lot of people say, but then we don't really bring it up. Degrees are not held at the same standard that they used to be. And maybe that's really not the case, but the more that we gravitate into the technological era that we're all living in, the less that you actually need a degree to gain the skill set that it is that you are seeking or needing to find the job that you want to be in. So you don't need to go to some big university. You don't need a bachelor's degree. If you have one, that's wonderful. I have one, I'm certainly not ashamed of it. I'm very proud. If you have a master's degree, even better. But those aren't necessary for you to become a project manager. What you need to do is invest in getting a certification. For me personally, if you watched my previous video, then you know that I did what I like to call or I have dubbed a skip level approach. I didn't know that the PMP or the project management professional certification was the gold standard for project managers. I had no idea and I skipped levels and went straight to PMI, studied, sat for the exam, passed, got the certification and immediately became a senior project manager for a biotech company. If you have the necessary qualifications and experience where you can go that route and qualify to sit for your PMP exam, do that. Do not waste any time. There's no reason for you to go through this long, arduous process 
of getting some free certifications and then maybe you get a Google certificate and then maybe you hem and haw a little bit more. And then maybe you start off as a project coordinator. If you want to take that route, you're more than welcome to do so. But if you're like me and you say, hey, I don't have any time to waste. I've got some corporate experience. I know that I wanna do this. I wanna jump right in and I trust myself to gain the necessary skill set to be successful. If that's your demeanor, and that's your attitude, don't waste any time. Check and see if you meet the qualifications to get certified and if you do, take a PMP class link in bio you can take our pmp certification class and get certified the classes range from anywhere from a weekend boot camp where you can get all the hours that you need and get fully prepped to take the pmp exam over the course of two weekends to other providers who provide classes that will take you six 8, 12 weeks. So many different options out there, but if you are in a position where you can jump right into it and get that certification, I absolutely advise that you do so. The PMP certification is highly, highly regarded in the project management community. When an employer sees that you are PMP certified, they know that you are worth your weight in gold when it comes to delivering business value and impact to the organization. And that's what you want employers to see when they look at your resume. So if you're serious about becoming a project manager and you're ready to put your money where your mouth is, invest in yourself today. Do not wait. Did I mention that this is one of the most in-demand careers right now? The Project Management Institute that actually issues your PMP certification credential, they released a statement or an article rather in 2017 stating that there would be 88 million, 88 million project management individual roles needed by the year 2033. And I'll double check my numbers, but I'm pretty sure at the PMI conference late last year in 2022, I'll double check, they said 21 million of those roles are still available. The market is short, that many project managers. It's super high in demand. And that is money and opportunity just waiting for the right person to fill that role. So I didn't mean to get off on a tangent, or did I? But all of that to say, if you are ready to make an investment in yourself, go and get certified. I promise you, you're gonna come right back here and hit me in the comments and say, thank you so much, Veronica, you changed my life. This was the best advice. And you know what? You're welcome because that's the whole purpose of the channel. So I'm glad it's working. All right, number three. If you want to become a project manager, you need to gain experience. And when we say gain experience, what you're really looking for are leadership roles because project managers, although they're typically individual contributors for organizations, they are leaders. And it's a very interesting role that a project manager plays because even though you're not a functional manager, meaning that the people that you're working with or that are part of your project team, they don't directly report to you. A lot of the time, depending on how the organization is structured, you're not gonna be doing PTO requests for your team. You're not gonna be doing, you know, handling HR issues for your team. You're not a functional manager. You're not checking who's back from break on time and who took an extra five minutes on their lunch. That's not your problem. You get paid too much to be worried about that. But you still have to hold these individuals accountable for their work. And that could be a very interesting place to be as a project manager. So you want to give yourself the opportunity to gain experience, not just leading work efforts, but also leading people. And an easy way to do this and gain this experience is to volunteer at your current organization for any project management roles. And I know a lot of you are thinking, 
how am I supposed to get a gig volunteering as a project manager at my organization when I don't have any criteria? Hello, you're volunteering. If you tell your employer that you're interested in becoming a project manager and you would like to volunteer your extra time for free and no additional compensation to help sharpen up and gain those project management skills, nine times out of 10, they're going to say yes and they're going to support you, especially if you have some additional capacity or you could come in early to help sharpen these skills or stay late. Employers like to see individuals taking initiative and this is the perfect opportunity for you to do so. Now, if you're in a situation where you're unemployed or you're like, look, Veronica, you don't know the company I work for. There's no way that they're going for that. That's okay. You can gain experience anywhere. You just need to be looking, all right? We live in an abundant universe. We are surrounded by opportunity. Go out and volunteer for a nonprofit organization, volunteer for a charity, volunteer to lead your daughter's Girl Scout troop, whatever it is to gain some leadership experience. I know some people are probably laughing at that, but the parents out there know that if you can lead a group of unruly children, you can lead a group of adults. So number one, you need to make sure that this is what you want to do. Do your research. Number two, get certified. Number three, you wanna gain experience as a leader and in a project manager or even a project coordinator role. Number four, if you wanna transition into project management is that you need to sharpen up your skill set. There are very specific skills that a good project manager absolutely needs to have. If you don't have these skills that I'm about to name off, that's okay because skills are like muscles, all right? If I go to the gym right now and try to deadlift 300 pounds, it's not gonna be pretty. I may throw my back out, okay? I may seriously injure myself. Why? Because I clearly haven't been deadlifting for quite some time. But if I go to the gym and I practice and I start with a lower weight and I really start to build those muscles, it's the same exact thing when you are looking to build a skill set. So let's talk a little bit about the skills that a good project manager needs to have. The very first one is a personal favorite of mine, and that is the ability to communicate. 90% of your role as a project manager is facilitating conversations and building bridges of communication between departments. Communication historically in any organization is 90% of everyone else's problem. Breakdowns in communication can end up in a domino effect of disaster for any business, any organization, any effort that you're trying to lead. So you really want to become a masterful communicator. And that doesn't just mean that you're articulate, although that is important. It doesn't just mean that you're concise, although that is important as well. What it really means is that you know how to read your audience's communication style and mirror that communication style back to them. It means that you over communicate as opposed to under communicating. You wanna anticipate the information that your audience or your team or your stakeholders need to know and make sure that you make it available to them before they even have to ask. Communication is a huge piece of project management. And that's regardless of the industry that you're in. Whether you're a construction project manager or a healthcare project manager, it does not matter. A technical project manager, a project manager for software development. Regardless, you need to make sure that you know how to communicate. And if you're somebody that says, oh, communicate, no, absolutely not. I can't stand communicating. I wanna avoid people at all costs. I don't think this is gonna be the role for you. Even if you're working a fully remote role, 
you still have to communicate. That's a big one, all right? So that's the number one skill set that you need to make sure that you're mastering. Skill set number two, facilitation. And when we talk about facilitation, we're talking about leading conversations. As a project manager, I can't even tell you the number of meetings that I schedule and run and facilitate. Why? Because I have to keep my stakeholders informed. I have to do report outs to my sponsors. I have to facilitate internal team meetings amongst my project team. I'm having to have conversations with external vendors all the time. And that's okay because your girl has a flair for the dramatic. I like to put on a show. I love to facilitate. I love to present. But if you're somebody who shies away from facilitation, then you'll want to build up that skill set because that is going to help you stand out and really shine in your role as a project manager. Let's talk about the third skill set, okay? Really leaning on facilitation presentation. If you are afraid to present, and a lot of people are, I know there's this old saying, really research that shows that people would rather die than have to speak in public. And I totally get it. It's nerve wracking, right? Especially when you're presenting data or you're presenting slides or you're presenting to C-suite level executive sponsors. But honey, that's the name of the game. The more you practice that skill, the better you're gonna get at it. And the more successful your team will be as well as your project. So if you don't have any presentation skills, if you don't know how to build a presentation, if you don't know how to direct the flow of a conversation during a presentation, those are things that you're going to want to work on and you're really going to want to master. And last but not least for project management skill sets, you need to be organized. Let me say it again for the people in the back. You need to be organized, okay? If you're the type of person that says, oh, I don't, I mean, I thrive in chaos. What do you mean? Like, why would I need to be organized? Number one, if you do thrive in chaos, this really could be the perfect role for you because it's gonna be chaotic regardless. It'll be more chaotic if you're not organized, but any company, big, small, schmedium, they're usually pretty chaotic. So if you thrive in chaotic environments, that's okay and that's a good thing. But what I mean when I say you need to be organized is that you need to cultivate a system of organization. As a project manager, you're always tracking status of several deliverables, you're tracking tasks, you're tracking your team, you're really juggling a lot. And the best way for you to be successful in this role as a project manager is to be well organized. And one of the benefits that we have today as modern day project managers that our predecessors didn't have uh, such an easy time with is that we have the benefit of project management software. And I won't get into naming them today on this video, but there are so many different platforms that you can use that will easily help you maintain organization. And that goes from building and maintaining your project plans, tracking your tasks and your project work, building process flows, maintaining housing documentation. There's so many different tools that are available to us today that project managers of the past did not have. So a lot of our work is already done for us and all we have to do is input the information into these platforms. So if you need to work on your organization skills, don't worry. You can certainly do this. You can make it happen and you can be successful as a project manager because you have so many tools and resources available to you. All you have to do is learn them and then leverage them. And last but certainly not least, the fifth step to transition into project management, network. Your network is everything. The easiest way to get a project management job is to network with other individuals that already hold this 
title. And you're probably thinking to yourself, well, how am I going to meet other project managers? I'll tell you. Go to PMI. Go to the Project Management Institute. It's www.pmi.org. Okay, and you can actually join to become a member of PMI and you'll have access to a vast network of other project managers. You can actually narrow it down by your area. You can see if there's networking events. They do all types of Toastmaster events. There's all types of different opportunities for you at PMI. Not only is it a wonderful resource, but if you decide to get certified by being a member of PMI, you get a discount on your PMP exam. It is a wonderful tool, it's a wonderful resource, and networking with other project managers is really gonna help you get a leg up in the space. Outside of PMI, look at networking events. There's all types of tech, and non-technical networking events for project managers. Look and see what's happening in your area. And I know it's a little nerve wracking to go out and to meet people and it's weird, but you have to put yourself out there. This is a huge opportunity for you and you don't wanna squander it. If you're serious about this career, put yourself out there, go for it and get to the bag. Let's do a quick review. Number one, make sure that this is what you wanna do do your research it matters number two get experience volunteer get experience at your job get experience at a charity at a nonprofit organization just get some leadership experience number three get certified if you're interested in getting a PMP certification visit us at pmpmastermind.com we are available to you and we teach certification classes both boot camps and group coaching all right take a look at our options number four sharpen your skills if you don't know where to start we have some resources and some courses available for you that will help professionally develop you and get those skill sets polished and ready to go for your project management career and number five, network, 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 network. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. The easiest way for you to grow in your career is to know the right people. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and we'll continue to give you as much information as possible on how you can easily transition into a project management career and start living your best life. Thanks a lot, you guys. See you next time. Blue book time. Hello again, San Francisco. <laughs>